Hey everybody, I want to introduce you to an old mate, and we didn't actually mate, but we're friends. <laughs> this is my buddy Lonnie Spector, and Lonnie puts on the Amp Show in L.A., and that's coming up when? That's coming up October 6th and 7th at the uh, Airtel Plaza Hotel, and uh, oh yeah, there's a website, www.ampshow.com. And uh, it'll be the eighth annual show. We actually changed the name for this show. It's called the LA Amp and Custom Guitar Show. So you might want to cool. come down there because it'll be like really some high end, very cool guitars and amps Not and stuff. And this and is and one that you built here that's a lap dance. Yeah, this right? is, me. Yeah, I have my own. Like Gretsch type pickups here? Yeah, TV Jones it's got TV there. Jones filter trons and uh, solid uh, rosewood neck. And uh, yeah, I'd like putting guitars together, you know. And, uh, you know, we go back a long way since, like, the very beginning, just about. Yeah. I knew you when neither of us had gray hair. Yeah, or I had, or I had hair. Well, <laughs> I'm working uh, on it, too, so. I have a, a, a Norm's Rare Guitar story. I don't know if you remember this, but way back, probably about 25 years ago, I went into Comer's House of Music at Reseda, and, and up on the wall, hanging up on the wall, was an all-gold Les Paul. Stephen Sherman Witt. Yeah. yeah. All gold Les Paul, and so the guy working there, I go, how much is that? The guy goes, six hundred dollars, and I'm like, damn, I don't have six hundred dollars, but you know, I've got an old Yamaha acoustic guitar, and I think I can muster up four hundred bucks. Will you trade? And he goes, yeah, go get the guitar. So I ran home, and I had to borrow four hundred dollars. I go back there, and I look on the wall, and the guitar is gone. And the guy goes, oh yeah, well after you left, I called up Norman. And he came and he just gave me six hundred dollars for the guitar. And let that be a lesson to you. You always need to have some money for a deposit when you walk into a music store. Because if you see something, if you don't put something down on it, it could get lost. It could just get on its so, way. And you told me I went in, and, and you and Danny were there, and I said, "Hey, I was the, with this the guitar. The oh, oh, well, that's already sold. It's going to Belgium or something like that." For I go, "What'd you get for it? Oh, twenty-two hundred dollars." I go, "Damn." What would that 56 Algo Les Paul be worth now? A lot more money. Even at the $2,200, it yeah. would be worth 10 to 20 times. That. Right, right. So there you go. So uh, I'm working on a uh, time machine. Do you have any money on you now, just in case you see anything, or what? Yeah, and I got plastic now. I didn't have oh, plastic. Oh, plastic. Then. Okay, yeah. And there wasn't plastic at that time. I don't, I don't think so. There wasn't know. the internet. There was nothing. There was just guys like... We're a couple dinosaurs. We predate everything. <laughs> But back in the day, you had to have some money in your pocket to leave a deposit. Now you can do it with plastic. There's a lot of ways you could do it. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, so the guy probably would have taken your check unless he would have known you. Oh, in which case, have, he probably wouldn't have taken have your enough, check. I didn't have enough money in my checking account. Now, That's what I'm saying. And so, I only had the checks for, you know, whatever the gas bill or something like that at, at the time. But those, well, were, those were different times. Those so. were different times, and now we're in these times, but... Speaking of this time and the future time, we got the LA Amp Show. So you guys got to be there or be square. It's going to be uh, some really cool stuff happening there. Great amps, great players, great guitars, stuff, great guitars. Hey, all kinds of fun things happening. All Lonnie Spector, my old buddy. What do you say, Lonnie? Hey, man. Thank you so much. All right. Peace. Norm's Rare Guitars videos, LA Amp Show. Norm's Rare Guitars, my favorite store in the world. There it is. <laughs>